Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a custom styled email signature with an image that stays, which is a bit of a challenge with this email client. Uh, I've tried this before and failed miserably, but this time I found a way that actually works <clears throat> Excuse me, and continues to work, which is what we want. Uh, the first step of the process here is we have to create a folder to store our signature and image. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my explorer here. If you're in Windows 7, create a new folder called Signature under Documents, or if you're in Windows XP, just put a uh, folder called Signature under My Documents. So I'm going to go ahead and do a new folder and call it Signature. Let me do F5 here. There we go, Signature. Right now it's currently empty. Now I have an image ready that I'm going to put in here. It's just a simple image. Let me show you what it is. It just says greetings from Tampa. Tampa, Florida, where I am. Small image, 200 by 128. You can use any image you want. But I'm going to keep this here. This is also where I'm going to save the uh, HTML signature too. So anyway, let me just get this out of the way here. Now, in order to create a signature, it's really easy, just compose a new email. We're not going to address it to anybody. We're actually going to use this as the editor itself. So I'm going to go ahead and create my signature. Uh, put my Facebook link in there. My Twitter link. And I'm going to highlight all of this, change that to a smaller font. Highlight my name and bold it and highlight everything and then change it from Arial to Verdana. And highlight my name once more, change the color to a green. Okay, we've got this part done. Now I'm going to enter a line above and I'm going to insert the image. Now if you don't see this menu bar up here, if it looks like this, Click the button on the right side and last option to show menu bar. Insert image inline. And I'm going to go to documents and go to my signature folder that I just created. There is my image file. Let me just show it to you to make sure you can see it. There it is. Okay, there it is. And uh, what I'm also going to do is put a little space under it so that when uh, the signature shows up it'll actually uh, give me some padding on the top here. Now, just go to File, Save As, and I'm going to go to Documents again and go to Signature. I'm going to use the Save As type as HTML and call it Signature.HTML and Save. And then I'm going to close this. Now what I'm going to do is go back. There is my signature file right here. What I'm going to do is directly edit this so that it actually points to the file. I use a uh, text editor called Notepad++, but you can use just regular Notepad if you want to. So I'm going to edit this. Now it looks like a whole bunch of garbage here, but the point is is that the image is here. Now you'll see this in the image uh, where it says image style source equals CID in this code here. This is actually pointing to the Internet Explorer cache I believe and what we need to do is change this to directly where the image is uh, directly where the image is currently located on the hard drive. The way to find this out is that in this signature folder you'll notice at the top here if I click it, it actually gives the full path and like that. So what I'm going to do is copy this out of here, go back to my editor, and where it says source, I'm going to get rid of this and paste this. So now it says C users, my username, documents signature and the name of the file and I'm going to save. 
Now, we have to set this as our signature. So go to Tools, Options, Signatures tab, New, check File down here, Browse. I'm going to go to Documents again, go to my Signature folder right there. At the bottom right, it's usually text. Change that to HTML. There's my signature. Double click. Check off add signatures to all outgoing messages. Uncheck don't add signatures to replies and forwards. Apply. OK. New email. Ta da. There it is. And this is a test email. I'm going to address it to myself and send. Oops, put in the subject. Test mail. Send. Do a sync. Do a couple of syncs, make sure it goes through. Hotmail's acting a little slow at the moment. There we go. Okay, and it worked. It actually attached the image. You'll kn you know this is true because the size of the email is 26K. Normal size of an email, if this image were not attached, would be about 2 to 3K. So it actually did attach it correctly, which is great. And uh, that was essentially how to do it. The hardest part, obviously, was going into your signature and then having to edit this directly and changing. This, this is the hard part right here, is actually getting the exact path of the uh, image file itself. You also have to make sure that that image always stays there. So the one that you have here needs to stay in your hard drive. Anytime you create a new email, it goes to that folder and it tries to get it. If it's not there, it would just show a white box with an X, meaning it couldn't find it. So that's it. it yes, it is a bit of a challenge to get this done. I wish there were an easier word, excuse me, easier way. There is not. But, uh, unless anyone has a faster way or a better way that's pretty much how to do it. Fortunately once you're done with this you don't have to mess with it again unless you want to change your signature. And that's it. Take it easy.